Kawhi. Oh my god, Kawhi, you got more than 69 likes. You're gonna suck their cock. Come on, Kawhi, what are you doing? Kawhi, what's happening? Come on. Let's go film a video. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Kawhi. Okay, I'll do it. Welcome back to I'm a so angry So you guys finally passed 69 likes after three hours. That's so crazy and Post 10 of your favorite youtubers or you youtubers in the comments below You did all that wow so fast after three hours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you But the thing is you guys didn't send me you kissing Buster Dragon. I Thought one of you would do it So for those of you who don't know what AB Sun is in simple terms, stop your opponent, then build up your plays. And for ABC, that means build up your Buster Dragon. You control the game from there, and then just pick it off slowly by slowly until they're cooked. So, without too much more talking, I talk too much. Let's get down to the deck profile. Hello guys, welcome to the deck profile. And let's start with Stun ABC. I'm going to start off with 3 Scorpion. Three dinosaur and three bats. I think you have to play three. Simple reason, I like it. The reason why for me is because links are a huge part of the meta right now. And you go through these pieces so quickly if you draw them. The key word, if you draw them. So no matter what, if you play a lower ratio, if you don't draw them, you're not gonna do anything. I wanna max out on these so I can go through them as soon as possible and make sure I get the buster out ASAP. And then two the extenders. I only played I only played four this time. And these are the best extenders in ABC in history. The reason why is the three reasons. The first reason is that these are machine. Second reason is that these are floaters. So if they get destroyed, you can special summon another one. So they just recur, recur, recur. And then the third reason is that these are actually almost like search cards for this deck. What I mean by search card is like these cards do not search. It helps you get out a card like gear gain X. So sometimes you're missing a piece, A, B, or C, and then most of the time it's B, and you wanna have a way to search them. These gadgets will help you search them as soon as possible because you usually have two machines in hand and they're all level fours. So you have two machines, make them out, make gear again, and then add your missing piece. This is why gadgets are one of the best extenders in ABC. And then, on to the hand traps. You gotta play a lot of hand traps now because this is a combo oriented meta. So you got the spirals, you got the lunar lights, you got the salmon grades, you got all these weird ass combo decks that go crazy on you. So make sure they can't go too crazy and then you go crazy on them afterwards. So you can start off with 3 DD Crow. These are pretty good. They can stop the master plan, they can get rid of Martin. You can get rid of almost any combo oriented deck because every combo deck now rolls around the graveyard besides pendulums. But I think you'll start stop Dark Worm, which is not bad at all. Next three cards will be Draw and Lockbird. This is mainly for spirals, because spirals go crazy. They have massive big board and then once they make that big ass board, you can't make you can't really do anything. So this will stop them and then next turn pick them off, make Buster, and then you're really good from there. And if you draw one of these cards, you're gonna play three Phantasme. And another thing is it's a pretty beat beat stick. It's 2400. So it's pretty nice to attack over because all your ABC pieces aren't that strong because it's eight. So you got a little beat stick in your, on the field. Also, it protects them from targeting. So you, they veil you, they impermanence, you have the field. You can stop that, which is really nice. And then onto the spells, you can play a three hanger. So it's initially plus two and it builds on once you lick more, you know. So very good card. So in order to draw a hanger as soon as possible, another draw hanger as soon as possible or draw any like traps on that. And this card is very important for every single deck in the meta. Which is called by the grave. Call by the grave. This is good because every deck now is main boarding Joel Lockbird, uh, DD Crow and any other hand trap. So make sure you stop them from hand trapping you or you can use it against your opponent and then stop their master plan or Martin or 
whatever a sound like a Jaguar or something like that. So stop them from stopping you and then stop them from doing anything. So really nice card, I love it. Last spell, High Desires. Plus one is really good. You definitely want to have a higher chance of drawing a thing. And another good reason to play three of each piece. So no matter what, you always have some pieces in your deck. This is a very good push card. So you gain advantage and then you push through afterwards. Now on to the traps. Well, only one trap. The thing is, I plan on playing this on locals multiple times. I feel like this is like one of the best decks right now. I want to play my locals and every one of my locals watches my videos. So if I reveal all my cards now, every one of my locals will know my deck inside and out. And that's not really easy for me to play. And then they could just read me like a book every single play I do. So I want to show you one amazing card and then the rest can be up to your imagination. You could pick any card you want, but I'll tell you later, I'll tell you later. So I'm going to start off with a trap that I want to show you. And this is like the best trap. So let me show you right now. This card is Skill Drain. I just saw from POV videos, this card is the bomb. One of the best cards in the deck. What it does, it negates monster and field, but it doesn't negate activation. So you can activate a field and resolve somewhere else, right? So the best part about this card is it works super good with Buster. So you have these two in field, right? Let me show you an example right now. So during your opponent's turn, right? They do some problem play. They have a problem thing on the field, right? Like, oh, oh no, problem thing. You can activate Buster, discard your card, target that problem card, and then they have no response, you're gonna tribute Buster. So everything is gonna resolve backwards. So Buster goes off first, the special thing, so you're gonna special thing three. And then the banishing thing will resolve because Buster's not on field anymore, it's in grave. So that card gets banished and you get special summon three, which is super sweet. I've been doing that so many times in my POV videos, you should watch it. It's really nice to learn from it. And yeah, I feel like Skunder is very nice, very versatile, and it stops almost all these meta combo decks, you know? So that's a super plus. And the next cards will be six cards. These cards can be up to your imagination. I play a certain amount of cards that I feel is the best, which I personally feel is best, but it might not be for you. But you wanna make sure that these traps, this can get rid of your opponent's monsters and it can stop your opponent. So it has to have two of those variables. Maybe you wanna play question mark? I don't know. It's up to your decision, whatever it feels best. Everyone has a different playing style, but I feel like these six are my favorites. And if you wanna take a sneak peek at what they are, you can check out the POV videos. You can definitely see why I'm playing. And then these cards are really, really good. And now on to the extra deck. I'm gonna start off with definitely three Buster, Banish and Special, Recur, I love it. The Clara, which is a Link 1. You can send a normal summon monster, and then, so you have Uni Hanger, it's almost like a one card Buster combo. So, pretty good. Platinum Gadget, this is the best Link in his deck because it starts off all your plays. It special summons and it floats. It has two uses and it's, you always almost start out with this and a piece if you don't really have the combo beginning. But you have this piece and some traps and some hand traps, which is pretty nice. Next card is Clifford Genius. This is like one of the best utility cards in the deck. What it does is it's not affected by solar traps, which is great against trap decks. And it's also not affected by link monsters. And to top it off, another cool effect is you could target two face-up cards on the field, negate them. So. Your pieces don't really matter in a field, they just matter in your graveyard. So you negate them, they get something else, and then move on with your plays. Next card, Barricade Blocker. This helps you throw a little piece in grave from hand and also converts it to the machine. So generic, but machine. Phoenix, your back row, very simple. And then Link 3, Unicorn. The only Link 3, and the only thing you need because it removes anything and doesn't destroy. So pretty sweet. The Link Force. So you got three. You got Appaloosa, Borosaur, and Borolode. So this will be for your mid game. So you make this usually when you can't really get rid of everything and you feel like your opponent can like tap deck something out. You got this to protect you from like more negates than that. Borosaur, obviously OTK time. Borolode, take your opponent's monsters, keep them a little bit or link them out. Mainly you just want to take away like some floodgate monster and you just chill with it and then they get floodgated on. Super nice. And the next card, Gear Gain X, already explained to you. Search any machine monster. Usually you want to search B, but it's any other piece that you're missing. So this has great synergy in this deck. I love it. Next card will be a starter. This is for if you have 20 pieces in hand, and then you can make this. So what it is, you draw two cards, then discard one card, 
but you skip your next draw phase. Well, this is the one I use the most. You also get a special summon from Grave, but you skip your main phase, but you know, one of those effects is really nice. Usually you want to draw, uh, to make sure you draw this card piece, and then and you hope to draw like a trap, hand trap. The last card, which I just put in, this wasn't in the POV videos, that's why you saw me having like three busters in Grave, I'm like, ah, oh, no. So I'm finally gonna play this. You got some Emerald. I haven't played this in so long, but I think right now it's necessary in this deck, because uh, this is not as fast as combo you see, so you can have some grind games sometimes, you know? So sometimes you run out of materials, or sometimes you run out of busters. You recycle them, and then draw a card. Pretty nice, and then it helps you out in the end. And then the side deck, I just want to know again, uh, I want to play this for locals, so I can't really show you everything. But I can show you some stuff to help you out and give you a little push. I want to show you a few cards from my side deck, and other cards is just up to you, you know? It depends on our meta too. Every, every local is different meta. So if you see a lot of spirals, play some spiral hate. Guru deck, play some trap hate. Spell and trap hate, you know? One of those things. So, we start off a little bit. We start with spiral hate. You can play Dark World of Lamore. It's like one of the best cards against spiral. You freeze their whole field and then you just do your own thing, you know? Don't want to worry too much. This also stops utility wire for spirals because double helix is no longer super agent. So, utility wire does not work. And then the next card, uh, back row hate, you can play Twin Twisters. Self-explanatory, destroy spell and traps, discard, ABC piece. Very nice. And then for combo decks and trap cards all together, play evenly matched. I don't own Lightning Storm, but I think it's okay. Evenly matched is very nice because it banishes instead of destroys, so pretty good. And then the rest of the cards, I wanna keep it a little hidden, but you can figure out yourself like what you wanna do. I recommend Kaijus. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is my really quick uh, deck profile. It's a little thing to get, get you guys started and everything like that. I feel like this is like one of the best decks in the format, but I think it's very powerful and it gets you a lot of advantage afterwards. It's like a slow start, but it builds up. It's a building up deck. So that's why it's called stuns, because you stop your opponent, then you just build yourself up from the bottom to the top. So like, you know, like Drake, like stop from the bottom, that we do, you know, that kind of stuff. So as always, hope you guys did.